What's going on, everyone? I'll wait a couple minutes for people to get in the room, and then uh, chop it up for a little bit on my lunch break. Um, yeah, we're gonna discuss very briefly the conversation I had last night with Michael Griffin, uh, Michael Griffin Jr. I tagged in this video as well. Um, just to kind of give you all a overview of the conversation, a recap, and uh, man, just I hope that this is a source of encouragement and edification to the saints. And so I want this to be shared if this is adding value to you. Share this if you know someone who would benefit from the topic of uh, that I'm going to let you know about in a moment. Please share the video. And uh, do me a favor, please subscribe to the podcast. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get more listeners because I believe the content is important. Uh, and I think it's, it's good uh, for us as believers to just continually support one another. So, hey, Christopher, what's good, man? Good to see you, brother. Um, so let me get into it. So a couple things. I had an interview last night uh, with... Michael Griffin, Michael Griffin Jr., good brother, man, um, and we discussed the topic of fatherhood, and so this was actually the second episode of the Proverbial Life podcast. Again, for those of you who may not be aware, what I've been doing on the podcast is Monday through Friday doing a morning meditation, and in that morning meditation, it's a five-minute brief word to meditate on for the morning or for the day or whatever the case and uh it's been super encouraging to hear back from people and them letting me know man this was super encouraging thank you i needed that word and it's just short enough for you to listen to while you're at work and by god's grace uh on the 20th or the 22nd of august i would have been doing this for a month so i'm super excited about that so being consistent with the morning meditation that's going on along with that i'm also doing um, weekly interviews with individuals on different topics and so if you remember the first interview i had was with the brother chris jones um, from christ centric and we kind of just talked about a bunch of different things uh really just wanted to get to know him as a person and it was very conversational, which was great. That's what I'm looking for on the podcast. I want it to be conversational. Uh, two brothers chopping it up, talking about the things of the Lord, talking about our walks, talking about what God is doing, and uh, giving some book resources for the saints to be encouraged by, so on and so forth. So that was that was excellent. Super encouraged by that. We talked about meditation uh, in that episode. So if you haven't listened to that episode I did with Chris Jones definitely check that out. Uh, we talked about uh, us needing to be nudged toward God. So that was super encouraging. Well, last night, me and the brother Michael chopped it up on the topic of fatherhood. And he and I talked about this yesterday. Sing it. He and I talked about this yesterday um, and how both of us have a passion for fatherhood. That's my passion, fatherhood, being a father, right? And the role and the responsibility I have before the Lord to, to be faithful in my call as a father and a husband to my wife. And so, uh, and, and that's, that's Michael's passion too. And so we, we literally geeked out about fatherhood last night. Um, and by the way, these episodes will be dropped on Wednesday. So we recorded last night and it'll be aired on Wednesday. So just a FYI to be looking out for. So on Wednesdays, these episodes will be dropped. Um, but we geeked out about fatherhood. And I, I just want to briefly talk about some of the takeaway points that I think are encouraging for us to think through and uh, a challenge for us to, to, to think through and to walk through as parents and as fathers specifically. And so a couple of things I was taken I, I wasn't surprised but I was super encouraged to 
talk to Michael about fatherhood because I see his passion to be involved in his children's life. And one of the things we talked about in the podcast yesterday on the on the episode was the importance of fathers to take initiative in their children's life uh, and in the family's life. So we one of the topics we discussed was family worship and the importance of family worship and how as fathers we're called to control the atmosphere in our home in such a way that we are taking initiative and preparing our family for worship. And that's something that we can do to prepare them throughout the day. And so what a huge responsibility though, right? Because we need to make sure that as fathers, that we are uh, not wasting time in foolishness, uh, not pursuing vanity, right? And, and our minds are focused on what's at task for the day, whatever it is. Uh, and in this case, family worship. And so we, we chopped it up about that. Super encouraging, man. Um, you know, we, we talked about the importance of a father in the home and the importance of a godly father and a godly mother in the home and how that makes a difference in how we discipline our children, right? Um, and, and then the, the, the comparison between uh, what causes us as parents, specifically as fathers, to bring about discipline or bring forth disciplinary discipline for a disciplinary issue. So is it because God is offended that we discipline our son or our children or is it because um, or is it because our kingdom was offended? I see a brother right here in the Lord. Ah, my brother's out here sharing the gospel, man. Praise God. Um, and so, so that was super encouraging, super dope, man, to think through. Um, hey, brother. What's up, man? Doing a recording. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yes, sir. You all right? Good. Yeah. What are you up to? Right now, just recording, talking to people about a podcast I'm doing. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. You look good, brother. God's mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good to see you, indeed. Yes, man. I saw... um, I saw a sister the other day. We'll catch up, but I saw a sister All right. who goes to the church and said, "Yeah, I saw Jeff. Jeff is awesome." Like, uh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, praise God. Nothing good in me but Jesus. That's it, right? man. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, praise God, man. That's cool. So good to see yeah. you. Though. You good out to here see you. Yeah. on the gospel grind. Spreading the news. That's it, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good news. Yes, you guys sir. Still, you guys uh, still on the move down there in uh, Randolph? Yes. Yeah. Praise. Yeah, that's praise going well. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. And the family's yeah. good. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be moved into the house soon. So where where right at? there on Buffalo Street, off of Buffalo Street. All right. Yeah. So right on. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We'll be able to do a little more with the space that we have, cool. that we will have. So yeah. So good to see you, good brother. See you, yes, brother. sir, man. Do you work you, up man. here now too? Yeah, I work right here. All right. Yeah. Good yeah. news. Yeah. Those He's are some the Lord's of my ambassador. Those are there. some of my coworkers there. <laughs> Praise God. Jesus on the loose. That's right. That's right. <laughs> good to see you, brother. Thank yep. You. Yep. I will, man. Right. I will, brother. Good to see you. That's a good brother, man. He uh, He's a full-time um, evangelist, and he hits the block and shares the gospel and preaches the good news. So super encouraging to see him. Um, so so it was. I was super challenged, man, as a father. And so a couple of things we talked about was disciplinary issues. How to deal with discipline, right? How do you discipline your children in a way that isn't um, that isn't promoting, you know, what frustrates you in your kingdom, as opposed to what God is displeased with, right? And that's very important for us. And he, one of the things that the brother said that really was was a great indicator was, if I feel agitated and if I feel angry inside most cases not always but in most cases that probably means that my kingdom is being flustered right now right in other words that probably means that this is something that isn't necessarily angering god but is angering edwin okay and when as parents we become when we get to that state as parents where we're angry and we act out in anger we can't, we got to be very careful with this. We can't say that that's the zeal of the Lord 
necessarily, right? Because we have to examine our hearts and really determine, is it really something that the Lord is bothered with? Like, is this a sin toward God or is this a sin against me? Uh, and I think that that's a very important distinction that we have to make. Otherwise, uh, we leave our kids confused. We end up disciplining them, we're disciplining them for something that they think that um, that they've offended a holy God for. When really it just agitated us, right? It got on our last nerve, and we wore out. We wore them out, you know. Uh, and so, so, so much wisdom in the conversation that I gleaned from from the brother last night. And lastly, we talked about education and the importance for us as parents. Uh, In a culture and in a world that is anti-God, we talked about the importance of us educating our children. And we briefly talked about the distinction between uh, homeschool and public school. Um, But we didn't go into detail on that topic because, again, that's something that he and I could have really just geeked out about. And we just we didn't. Um, But 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 we assured We assure the listeners that, Lord willing, we will have a future episode where we devote to the topic of education. And so it was super encouraging. Uh, Again, whether or not, so so if you if you if you public school or if you homeschool, at the end of the day, as parents, the buck stops with us, and it's our responsibility to be the primary educators of our children's life. It is. And so we can't have this mentality where we just drop off our children at Sunday school and the Sunday school teacher is going to take care of that. Or we just drop off our children at school and the school is going to teach them that. That's how we lose a generation behind, right? That, that's how we lose a generation of children. So if you, send your, if you send your children to public school, we need to follow up. We need to have interactive conversations with our children. We need to take the initiative and ask them certain questions, right? And obviously there's more challenges with that because you're working a full day. Your kids are going the whole, the whole day. They come back home and now you're trying to rush to make dinner. You're trying to, you know, eat dinner. You Maybe you watch a show or, you know, that's if you don't do family worship, right? Maybe you watch a show and then it's time to go to bed and do it all, do it all over again. So... As fathers, we have to take the initiative and take control of that situation and say, all right, this is how it is in our home. These are the these are the convictions we have or these are the things that we've laid out is what we do. All right, boom. So we send our family, for example, let's say you say we send our family to public school. These are the reasons why I right, bet this is how we're going to counter that because for eight hours a day, they're getting a message, right? And the same thing goes for the, the, the homeschooler. For eight hours a day, they're getting a message. And um, you, can, you can do homeschooling the wrong way, right? Uh, ho- homeschool isn't like a, a, a red pill. Um, it isn't like, you know, because you homeschool, your children will be Christians. Because you homeschool, your children will have a fantastic education, right? It matters who's doing it. Um, it matters. Like, there's a different. There should be a distinct difference between uh, a Christian family that is homeschooling their children and a non-Christian family that is homeschooling their children. So, whatever the case is, as parents, as husbands, we need to take the initiative and teach our children, and instruct our children, and reprove our children, and point them to the Lord. That's our responsibility. So, anyway, all that. And more is what we discussed on last night's episode of The Proverbial Life. And I'm super excited for you guys to hear it. I got some editing to do. And it will premiere on uh, next week, Wednesday. So every Wednesday it will premiere. Or at least every other Wednesday right now. Because of my schedule and editing and all that stuff. So every other Wednesday at least you'll be getting an episode interview with someone. So... uh, Again, be looking out. If you haven't subscribed to the podcast, go to any podcast outlet uh, and type in The Proverbial Life, and you can find past episodes there. Um, And if you'd like, you can also go to the website, myproverbiallife.com, where you can read blogs and articles, and shortly there'll be a storefront where you can buy some merch and things of that nature. So, love y'all. Pray y'all have a good day. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. 
and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So as we head out, remember, look to Christ, live wisely, leave a legacy behind for generations to follow. Grace and peace, y'all.